to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my favorites of 2016. I wasn't going to do this video because we're already into March. I didn't think you guys wanted to see it, but in my last video I asked you if you guys did and a lot of you responded yes, so thank you so much. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the warm wishes. It makes me feel so good because now I know it was the right decision to come back because you guys just made me feel so welcome. So thank you guys so much. I am truly best to have some great subscribers. And I really want this channel to be positive. I don't want any negativity. I don't want any rude comments or any of that because I just want this to be a fun place and just a positive channel. So thank you guys so much. And um, I know there's a couple of new subscribers. So welcome. My name is Lisa. I hope that... Um, you guys enjoy my yearly favorites and I'm gonna have everything listed down below that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in this video. Did that make sense? Sharing with you guys in this video. Anyways, you guys get it. I'm gonna list everything down below including everything that I'm wearing in this video. And I should have wore the products that I'm gonna share with you on today but I just didn't think of that so I apologize. But everything will be down below and I will also link my Instagram and Snapchat if you guys wanna follow me there as well too. So enough of the talk. I'm going to be splitting this up into two parts just because I don't have enough time to film everything that I wanna share with you and it won't be as long either. So let's just jump right in and get started. Um, I'm going to be sharing like my blushes and highlighters and lipsticks in my next video. So this will be everything else. So I have everything in this box right here. Um, so I'll just kind of start with the order that I put on my makeup, I guess. So for primer, the one that actually, okay, well, my favorite one is by Liz Wattier, but I have to repurchase that one. I love that primer. I think for me, that is the best primer for my skin type and it just it fills in my pores, my lines, and it just feels soft and smooth. Like it's just the best primer ever. But I ended up trying this one by The Body Shop and it's the Inst Insta Blur. This is really nice. It is it is silicone, so it's very, very thick. Um, but if you have large pores like I do, then I would maybe try this one. I don't know if, you, if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it is very, very thick, and you just pat it into the skin and then just rub it in, and I'm telling you guys, it will blur your pores. And this did keep me matte through the summer as well, too. So I really like this, and it's affordable. And where is my lid? There we go. So I really enjoyed this for 2016. Okay, foundation. I have two favorite foundations for 2016. I am currently out of my favorite, um, which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I love that foundation. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. It has like one of those droppers. I'm not a big fan of the dropper that they have. I wish it would just come in a pump, to be honest with you, but the color match was perfect for me. I was in light, medium, neutral. Yeah, I believe that was the shade I was in. And that's just a foundation that I can wear throughout the year. Like it's good for the summertime, the winter, all season long. So I absolutely love that foundation. But if I want a more flawless, more full coverage foundation, um, I love the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. This blew me away, you guys. I love the finish of it. It's not matte. Like it still kind of leaves a very like, like a natural matte, I guess you can say. And it's just great. If you have oily skin, you're gonna love this foundation. I like applying it with a beauty blender the best because I like to, I just feel like it gives me the most flawless look to the skin. When I use a brush, I do get a little bit more coverage. And although I like a nice coverage, I don't like it too, too full. So that's why with this, I like to use a beauty blender. And I don't know if that made any sense to you guys, but if you haven't tried the Studio Skin um, Hydrating Foundation, I would definitely give it a try. If you guys hear noise in the background, it's just my son watching Supergirl. So I hope that doesn't bother some of you. Moving on to concealer. I have a really hard time with concealers, you guys. Like, I guess I'm just kind of, I'm too picky when it comes to concealers. 
You can hear my son playing with Lego. I literally had to wait five minutes for him to stop throwing the Lego. But yeah, I think I'm just extremely picky when it comes to concealers. So I guess for me, for 2016, it would have to be the Tarte Ray Rainforest of the Sea. I have mine in the shade Light. I really don't care for the color range in this, um, but this is this is a good color, but I. I feel like it's gonna be hard for some people to find their right shade, so I'm hoping they come out with more colors. Um, but I, I do like the coverage of this. I love the finish of it. It has a super big wand, or I should say like a fat wand, which you know what? I actually really like the applicator of this, and I feel like you get a ton of product in here because I've had this for like six months and I'm still using it. Um, you get 10 mils of, of product in here. I love the bottle, like the packaging is really pretty. It's just like the um, Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. Um, but I love this. It just, it, it, it just looks very natural. It doesn't look dry underneath the eyes and that, that is one thing that I have problem, problems with with concealers is they just always look so dry and my under eyes are not that dry so I don't get it. But anyways, I, I do like this one and the only downfall I have to say, I forgot to mention, is the smell. It smells like paint. I just don't understand why it smells like paint. I don't get it. So I'm hoping they will notice that and maybe change the smell or I don't I don't know. But overall, if you can get past that smell, this is a great concealer to try. And I really don't hear a lot of people talk about it. Okay, to set my face, um, I actually fell in love with the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. And it looks like this. This is really nice. If you guys like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which used to be like my go-to powder in the day, this I feel like is a dupe for that. I have mine in the shade Light, Light Beige. It's just a nice, like a super fine powder, very soft, but it just, it really does like blur blur everything and just leaves a beautiful flawless finish to your foundation so i really like this and i like the coverage it's like in between it's not light but it's not like full um and it doesn't look powdery on the skin either so this is great moving on to bronzers bronzers was super hard for me to choose because i used so many bronzers in 2016 and i even like hit pan and used up one which was the pure glow together bronzer i Love that bronzer. I think it's limited edition, but I did go to um, Shoppers Drug Mart last week and they did have some left. So I don't know if that's limited edition or not. I didn't buy another one just because I have so many other bronzers. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm trying to be good. <laughs> so I picked one high end and one from the drugstore that I use the most. So the high-end bronzer that I used the most was the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. It's just, it was, it's just my go-to bronzer. It just looks so good on the skin. The color is good for me. It doesn't look orange on me, and it just looks good throughout the year. So winter, summer, it's just, it's just one of those bronzers that I can use all year round. And the one that I picked for drugstore is the Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula. I think they make some great bronzers. I did like the Butter Bronzer as well too, but I like the color of this one more. And um, it is matte, it's got a really nice finish, the color is perfect. I can use this to contour or to just bronze up the skin. It's just a really, really nice powder and I feel like I used it a lot and I'm not seeing pan on it. And I used it a ton. So I think this is a great bronzer at the drugstore. Moving on to the eyes, for mascara, hands down, it is the Essence False Lash Effect. This is just my favorite at the drugstore and I prefer this over high-end mascaras, believe it or not. And I believe it's only like $3.99 or $4.99. I just, I like the wand. It's not one of those flimsy wands. It's a brush applicator. Like, it's just, it's got a really nice wand to it and I love it. It doesn't flake on me. It just gives me such thick, long, voluminous lashes, and I don't feel like I need to wear false lashes, which I'm not really into false lashes, so you you won't see any in this video. Um, but like I said, I don't really need to wear them when I wear this mascara. It's just, it's great. And for 
eyeliner. It is definitely the Kat Von D Trooper. This is just a little deluxe size. I did have the full size and I need a backup, but I'm waiting for the VIB sale. And I do have one from Essence that I want to try after I'm done this one. So I just, I, I kind of just want to use, especially eye products, I really want to use those up before I start buying something else. But this is hands down just, it's just easy. It's, it's nice and black. And I heard that she's coming up with another one that is even more black. So I'm very excited to try that as well. This next product would not be a favorites video if I did not include them and I've talked a storm about them here on my channel and on my Instagram. I'm always sharing them because I just think they're great and I'm really happy that people are starting to notice the brand because I really do like the brand as a whole and I think they have some really great products. And it is the Bodyography Gl Pressed Glitter Pigments. Now, if you um, did not like the Stila ones or you didn't like the Touch of Soul ones because it was just too much glitter, you know, you're at that age where you just want a little bit of something, um, but you can like build it up to what you want, then this is a product for you. Um, they're just really easy to work with because they're they're pressed and there's no fallout when you use them. I find with the others, there, there can be some fallout. It's a little trickier to use, but these are just super easy. Um, I will be doing some close-up shots for you guys too, but here are the three shades that I wore a lot. So I have Sparkler, which was, well, it's it's probably my favorite one. And I like Bubbly too, just because it's a gold. And you guys know I love gold. Um, so then we have Stellar. Yeah, Stellar. This was one of my first ones that I purchased, and I just I fell in love with them, and I just ended up buying pretty much all of them. I picked these up at my beauty supply stores, International Beauty Supplies it's called. I don't know if they have that in the US, but that's where I purchase Bodyography or you can just order online. I know that they're sending some of their products to YouTubers now, so to bloggers, so that's really nice. So I'm sure there's other reviews um, online about these if you guys wanna to get to know the brand a little bit more. But I love them. They're amazing, super easy to use, like I said, and I mean, you're, you're missing out if you haven't tried these yet. And you guys, follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting, like, pictures of, like, my makeup of the day, and sometimes I will even post the look so that you can see some of these products on there. So I will have that link down below for you guys. Moving on to Eyeshadow Palettes, this will be the last thing that I talk about in this video, and part two will be my blushes, highlighters, and lipsticks. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. And don't forget to hit that bell that's in the corner. You'll probably see it somewhere. Um, I guess some people are not getting um, their videos in their feeds. So make sure you hit that bell so that when I do upload, um, it will noti notify you. Okay, so again, I have to talk about the Too Faced Sweet Peach because I use this probably the most next to the next palette that I will talk to you about. Um, it's just one of those go-to palettes. I can create so many looks with this, daytime looks, nighttime looks, and I get compliments every time I wear this, and I just, I like the looks that I create with it. It's just, it's just a really nice palette. Okay, this next one. This is hands down, I think. If I were to choose just one palette, it would probably be this one, and it is the Modern Renaissance palette. Again, I'm so happy that this is part of their permanent line. And I think they just did an, a phenomenal, phenomenal job on this palette. I just like the color combinations they put in here. It's just so nice. If you like warm eyeshadows, if you like those like burgundy, red, or orange shades, then this is definitely the palette for you. The eyeshadows are just super easy to use and they just blend really nice. Like I just, I recommend it so make sure to pick this up for yourself <laughs> and the last one to share with you guys is by Becca Cosmetics this is the ombre rouge eyeshadow palette and I love this and I get asked so many questions on this palette when I post it on my Instagram um, on how I like it if it's worth it and for me personally like these are just the shades that I use on a daily basis so if if I'm in a hurry, then this is the palette that I will 
that I will use just because, like I said, it's just the colors that I use all the time. And if I want to add some glitter, I'll just take one of my bodyography pigments and just add a little bit of glitter onto the eyes. And I really like it. I think these are really, really nice quality. And I do have um, the other one on my wish list for the VIB sale because I, it's just, that one is more of a neutral, more on the cooler side. Um, and this one's more on the warm side, but I love it. I think it's great. And I think this is just one of those palettes that I can't be without. So that is everything for part one. I hope that you guys subscribe for part two. I'm really excited to film that video because lipsticks and highlighters and blushes are just my thing. I love them so much. And it's just, it's gonna be a fun video for me to film. So I hope that you guys stick around. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I will have everything linked down below. And once again, thank you guys so much for the warm wishes back. I'm so happy that I decided to come back. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you. So thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.